bless you. Thank you for joining us. This is our 12th year anniversary of Sunday School Insights, which started as This Week in the Bible. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Minutes Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us. And Sunday School Insights begins now. This lesson is entitled, Korah's Rebellion. And our scriptures are found in the book of Numbers, chapter 16, verses 1 through 14. It's a dangerous thing to conspire in the dark or in private against the will of God. In chapter 15 of the book of Numbers, God had just spent time walking Moses through the acceptable ways of preparing and bringing an offering before him. God explained what animals, oil, wine, and meal to bring in detail, how to bring it, and he told Moses why. God even told Moses that if there are any among you who are not of the children of Israel, yet desire to worship and serve me, they can follow the exact same commands in offerings and sacrifices as I have set forth for Israel, and I will honor it and bless them. There shall be no difference between the offerings of those who work, live, and travel with you and God's chosen people. God, in his infinite wisdom and mercy, also made provision for forgiveness of those who without knowledge, in their ignorance, made the mistake of bringing or preparing a sacrifice wrong before the Lord, but came with the right heart. God knows the heart. While this was going on, Korah, Dathan, and Abiram secretly met. Their pride and lust drove them to want to take over the priesthood. But God is never too busy and overwhelmed with what he is doing in one area to see what's going on in another area. As a matter of fact, God sees it all going on at the same time and plans the events of one thing to work perfectly with the other to serve his purposes. Korah Dathan and Abiram got up early in the morning, accompanied by 250 princes of the assembly, well known by the congregation, and confronted Moses and Aaron, trying to intimidate them with the accusation that they had put themselves in power to rule over the people with their own will, when in fact it was God who put Moses and Aaron in the leadership and priest position over Israel. They claimed that everyone was just as holy as Moses and Aaron. And how do we know that God chose you? Moses fell on his face, not out of fear, but out of concern for what Korah and those with him were bringing upon themselves. What made them think that God had chosen them instead of Moses and Aaron. And even worse, there was no turning back from what they had just done. Moses challenged them with instructions on what they would all do to see who the Lord had truly chosen. And tomorrow they would find out 
what thus saith the Lord. We ask that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channels. Please make sure to give some devotional time to our new teaching series called Understanding the Tithe. Come back and join us here again next week, God willing, for another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by J. Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.